Dear students, with this tutorial we're going to see selection tool. We have three different types of selection tool. And we usually work selection tools together with shortcuts. So if I grab the first one, the square selection tool, and I click and hold a little bit, we're going to see that behind the square selection tool we have as well the ellipse selection tool or oval selection tool. And I'm going to be working on an extra layer so that the first layer is not being touched. I click and drag it anywhere on my work area and I'm grabbing a brush that works quite fast and fills up a lot of area like for example Künstlerfarben and Ölborsten and I increase the size of the brush a little bit so it's a bit larger. I'll go back to selection tool and to add an extra selection area we can see we just need to press shift and it's going to come a plus on my selection symbol and like this I can continue painting on an extra area and if I hold I'm sorry I have to go to selection again if I hold option we get a minus into it and like this I can select an extra color and start working an area which does not have that part selected so if I would like to have a perfect square, like we can see, we can have here any kind of size of selection. If I press the shift key, I get a perfect square. If I let it go, I can be more flexible. So by the time you're selecting, if you press the shift key, you get a perfect square. The same happens if you select the oval tool. At the moment you're starting the selection, if you press the shift key, you get a perfect circle. If you let it go, you get uh, an oval. So like this, I can just paint on top of it. And by selecting an extra area, I can press the shift key before starting the selection. I do the selection. If I would like to have a perfect circle by this time, I can let it go and press the shift key again while I have the brush on the surface of the screen okay so I'll do this again if I press, press the shift key I have a plus I start the selection I have a perfect circle I can let it go and I'm going to have a novel selection okay I can select another color and start painting again so this was more or less information for the first selection tool and I'm going to open an extra file so that we can work the other tools that we have here. So I'm clicking and dragging this image into Painter. I have now on the workspace the image of this bird. Clicking on the lasso tool, we have two different types of lasso tool. We have the polygon lasso tool and we have the normal. I'm starting to make a selection and you can see that we can be quite quick on doing the selection and afterwards we can make a fine selection of your image by pressing the option to reduce the selection And if you would like to add any part of the selection, you press again the shift key and you get a plus and you would be able to add some part of it. But since I just selected a little bit too much, I'm just going to decrease the size of my selection by holding the option key tuk, 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 and reducing the selection a little bit. And now I can just do, for example, command C for copy or if you would like you could just go to Bearbeiten, Kopieren and afterwards you can just go to Command V and you're going to have the same image that you selected now copied and duplicated. So in this case I duplicated one image and what I could do as well is to hold the option key and you can see we have uh, two arrows, a black and a white one. 
and I'll just clicking on the layer and dragging it to the side and I'm duplicating it without having to do the copy paste part. Okay, this is an option. If you would like to do a selection with a little bit more precision without having to add plus and minus like option and shift, you could just grab the Polygon Auswahl. It's the second option from selection. And then you would see that I have here some kind of rubbery uh, line that I can just click in a few spots and I can really just lose my hand a little bit if it gets tired and continue doing the selection like as many clicks as you want to do the curves and to do the straight lines you can just make a little bigger selection without having to click so much on the image and of course the same thing works here if you would like to increase the selection you would just need to press the shift and if you would like to decrease the selection you would need to press the option key uh, at the moment the selection is closed like this i could as well like option i get a minus shift i get a plus and i would be able like this to increase or decrease my selection okay so this would be the lasso tool i'm going to decrease the size of my image nicht sichern and uh, I'm going to the second image that we have here, clicking and dragging it into Painter. Now I'm using what we call the Zauberstab and the Wand. And like you probably know through other softwares, if you click on a certain area, we're going to be selecting a range of color. And the tolerance that you have on this range of colors, it's up here. So now we have a quite large number. We have like 32. If I would decrease this number, I would select a smaller range of color. If I increase this number, I would have a bigger range of color. You can see here I have almost 200 and I selected the whole image just doing one little click. So I'm reducing this a little bit to something around 20. Command D, I deselect everything. And now instead of just clicking on one area, like you can see here, I'm going to click and drag it. And like this, you can see that I just selected the whole sky with almost or practically one single click. And now I would just use the lasso tool to fine tune my selection holding the option key I'm going to deselect some areas that were selected without me wanting it just because the color is very similar and uh, now I have the whole sky selected I could go to effects and we have here Tonwert Kontrolle Farbkorrektur and here I could play a little bit around like changing a few informations just maybe to change the color of the sky or make it a little bit darker or lighter like here I can play around a little bit do a little bit of contrast this is just one way to be using the these tools together on the next tutorial I'm going to show you this whole thing in the practice using the selection tool to be working on an illustration I have been seeing very, very good results from this kind of technique. Talk to you soon.